Okay, around here, U of L, UK, IU, we have our fair share of elite athletes. Definitely, and WDRB's Bill Francis shows us a unique training device those athletes may soon be using, an idea that actually sprang from the mind of a former soccer player. They're, you know, treadmills for running, they're ellipticals for cross training, but there's not a device that simulates the activity of jumping rope. But there is now. This is the digit jump. It's the idea of Vaughn Scott, who was a soccer player in college, and jumped rope to stay in shape and increase his foot speed. That exercise had always been something that I enjoyed doing, and it really uh, helped me identify the fact that there really wasn't a device that existed that, that could replicate that activity. Scott's day job is a financial advisor, but for the past decade, he and a team of engineers have been developing the digit jump. It can measure foot speed, coordination, and vertical jumps. What elite athletes and coaches that train them want are metrics. You know, they want to be able to measure things much more efficiently and effectively. And so obviously as we developed this, that became obvious that we could do that better than any product that we'd seen on the marketplace. Scott and his team have acquired five patents and will soon begin selling the DigiJump to a select group of customers. It's mainly uh, strength coaches as well as trainers. Um, any folks that are working at the Division I, Division II, but certainly the Olympic and the, and the professional level as well. The DigiJump was designed and is manufactured here at ERL in New Albany. Electromechanical Research Laboratories has 50 employees and makes specialty products. Ryan Wise says the DigiJump will continue to be good for his company. Yeah, obviously, as production ramps up, we're hiring people, so create jobs locally. Scott will show his invention to a convention of strength and conditioning coaches in Las Vegas next month. We're really excited about it. I mean, we're excited to, to, to finally bring it to market. In New Albany, Bill Francis, WDRB News.